submitting three reports there. One seventieth report on implementation of district as export hub, that is DEH, that is including one district, one product, ODOP initiatives. And the second report what I am submitting to your group self is 171 first report, issues affecting the Indian tea industry, especially in Darjeeling regions. And third report I am submitting to your group self is 172nd report on promotion and regulation of e-commerce in India, which is very, very important subject. Sir. Please permit me to explain in brief, sir. I mean, I will not take much time. And as what are all the issues and what are all the recommendations, sir. 170th report is one district, one product, sir. Sir, uh, the problems that are being faced in this regard is uh, lack, of finan lack of financial literacy and awareness of the uh, various producers and manufacturers and farmers, sir. And hindrance in digital and e-commerce linkages, sir, because uh, almost uh, major part of the country, uh, including some far-flung areas, are not connected by internet, sir. Right. Sir, and then imposition of, imposition of non-tariff barriers, sir. For example, some of the products which are being exported, for, uh, sanitary and uh, uh, phytosanitary products. And apart from the tariff, there are some non-tariff barriers like uh, they, they get themselves tested and then uh, reject it abroad. So these are all the barriers what they are facing. Sir. And the changes in challenges faced by the MSME. Sir, sir uh, there are certain problems uh, like suppose if total number of laborers employed by MSME says uh, should not exceed 100. Once they exceed 100, there will be a lot of, uh, 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 mm, lot of uh, uh, mm, provisions to be followed. Sir. So to mitigate that problem, what entrepreneurs are doing, they are uh, setting up another MSME, thereby the same product and the same family has, uh, will have two different companies and manufacturing. And lack of inter-agency cooperation, sir, because ODOP uh, involves so many ministries, sir, and there is lack of coordination among the ministries, sir, and in inadequate use of in inadequate ease of doing business, sir. That is another problem, sir. Our recommendation, sir, there has to be empowered group of uh, secretaries which has to be, uh, deal with this all these issues, sir. And untapped, unexplored markets of various global regions such as Latin America and Africa, there is a potentiality, but it is still to be exploited, sir. And sir, it, uh, creating an indigenous digital geo-mapping, sir, that is very important for uh, one district, one product, sir, geo-mapping. Right. And sir, uh, training capacity building program should be uh, implemented, sir, customized programs. And strengthening of public-private people partnership is very important, sir, to develop the uh, one district, one product. Sir, a dedicated portal in collaboration with the financial institutions and cooperative banks. This is also one of the recommendations, sir. Strengthening of digital infrastructure, sir. And then partnership, uh, partnership opportunities with major e-commerce companies, sir. And accreditation of, uh, accreditation of certifying bodies as per international standards, sir. There has to be some agents, few agencies which will certify the product here and then before they are exported, sir. Sir, growth of floriculture industry in the hilly region of northeast region, sir, particularly. There is a great potentiality which is to be explored and exploited, sir. Extending its coverage, sir, right now 733 districts are covered, sir. And there are 773 districts and the remaining districts are also to be covered, sir, under this scheme. So these are all the recommendations, sir. This is 170th report, sir. Sir, uh, second is uh, 171 report, issues affecting the Indian tea industry, sir. I'll just highlight right. only two issues, sir, apart from the issues which I'm submitting to you. Sir, uh, the major problem that we are facing is the tea that is manufactured, tea leaves that are manufactured in Nepal are being brought here. And uh, in the name of Darjeeling tea, it is being, it is being marketed, sir. So, Indian tea, Darjeeling tea is considered to be champagne of India, sir. So, it has a world market and world famous market and it fetches the maximum price, sir, in the world. So, that is to be curbed, sir. And secondly, sir, 
sir, lack of decent living wages for the tea workers, sir. The Minimum Wages Act is being applied to all sectors across the state of West Bengal except for tea, tea sector, sir. So our recommendation is tea sector should not be excluded. Minimum Wages Act should be made applicable because right now 202 rupees as per day wages, sir. And for other workers, it is their minimum wage is 298 and 328 per day, sir. Sir, one another major recommendation which I would like to bring to your notice is uh, the Parcha Pata, sir. Sir, when Britishers have left the country, they have handed over entire <coughs> tea industry to the state governments. Mm. That's the right thing what they have done, sir. And the state government from time to time depends upon the case to case. They give the land, they give the estate on lease. Yes. So these, uh, the over generations are five, five, six generations, people are staying, workers are staying, but they don't get any rights, sir. They have only right to leave. So uh, the state government may take a lenient view in this regard and then because of the uh, because of our generations they have been staying there, they may be considered for retanting. Sir, I have categorized into a uh, few categories, sir. Problems that are being faced by manufacturers, customers, e-commerce platform, delivery personnel and government. So for each category, what are all the problems I have given, sir? And the key recommendations also we have made, sir. We don't have time, so I... I don't have to go through all this. Sir, hmm? sir uh, the main point is, sir, enacting a draft competition amendment bill, 2020. So, which is long pending, sir. Unless that is enacted, uh, it is very, it is almost impossible to control the e-market space, sir. And then, national cyber crime policy, sir. Cyber crime is rampant, sir, and the national crime, cyber crime policy or legislation is to be brought, sir. These are all the major recommendations, sir. But this has got very good potential, sir. And, uh, sir, uh, right now, the e-commerce market is only 46.2 billion US dollars, sir. It is expected to reach, expected to touch 200 billion by 2026, sir. So, therefore, this is very important. And key recommendations have been. Yeah.